Hey Preds Nation, Johnny here. Yes, it may be the middle of August as we drag along through the summer waiting for hockey season to return. But lo and behold, wouldn't you know it, the Preds have trade news to announce today. I'm currently working on a special project that should be done and out in the fall when this milestone for the franchise occurs. But I had to pause to talk about this news. This is news today that was first broke by Elliot Freeman and the finer details of the trade were eventually announced via social media by the Preds. Something that we all saw coming if you follow this team closely enough, the Preds have traded Cody Glass to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Yes, the Preds currently are under the cap before this trade was announced, but Look at the roster of outstanding RFAs, restricted free agents. The Preds still have to sign Yuso Parsonen and Philip Tomasino. So something had to happen. So the complete trade includes a 2025 third round pick that belongs to Minnesota. A 2026 six round pick. Both will be sent to Pittsburgh along with Cody Glass and the Preds don't have to retain anything from Cody Glass's two and a half million dollar salary. The Preds still have their 2025 third round pick, which that's a decent pick to play with. Say if the Preds happen to find themselves in their cup window come the 2025 NHL trade deadline. I hope I'm pronouncing this right in exchange for what the Preds sent to Pittsburgh. They get back Jordan Fresca, an undrafted forward who we all expect will start the 2024-2025 season with the Milwaukee Admirals. It just helps fill out their roster. Cody Glass, who you will remember was originally drafted by the Vegas Golden Knights, came to Nashville via the Ryan Ellis three-way trade with Philadelphia. His $2.5 million salary being off the books now means the Preds are a little bit more comfortable with just over $3 million in cap space available to finally try and negotiate and get Yusuf Parson and Philip Tomasino locked down. The big club, the Preds, current roster for opening night includes 11 forwards, 6 defensemen, and 2 goys of players who are locked up. But I don't think they're done because you want to be a little bit more comfortable with cap space and not put yourself right up against the line. So honestly, before training camp starts next month, I would still expect Dante Fabro to get moved. On the bright side with Fabro, I don't see us having to give away draft capital to get someone to take his salary in full off of the Preds books. Fabro is a decent middle two defenseman that can help another team and give him a fresh start I think he needs and deserves. The last thing I will say in terms of Cody Glasses, Cody, thanks for the memories. For those of you who may have missed it, I retweeted the Preds fan reaction video from the early March game where he got the hat trick against Colorado inside Bridgestone Arena. We all shed a tear along with him because we know this kid works his butt off. But unfortunately, he just doesn't get the breaks sometimes. But hopefully a fresh start with a Pittsburgh team that is going to get younger here soon. You got to think with that aging core, but I won't get into that. Hopefully... Maybe with a mixed match of whatever Pittsburgh is deciding to do with the team, that will help Cody Glass finally flourish into the forward that experts always thought he could be. That hat trick against Colorado, one of the most memorable regular season games of this last season. So that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, click a like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like it. You can interact with me about any Preds news that may come up by clicking on a channel name. Tell all your friends about Predemption and Cody kick butt in Pittsburgh next season. Just don't do it against the Predators, please.